today is my wash day. Um, my hair has been in this hairstyle for like three days now. I'm not proud of it. A couple nights ago, I went and dipped in the ocean for the first time this season and then I didn't rinse my hair afterward or wash it or anything. So it still has like salt water in it. It's really tangled. My hair is really greasy and it's just really time for a wash. So I'm gonna walk you guys to that today, kind of vlog style. For today's scalp treatment, I'm gonna be using the Growing Season Hair Oil from Berber. I've talked about this oil many times on my channel. It's one of my favorites. And I'd like to thank Berber for sponsoring today's video. So first I'm just gonna start by taking this off. Yeah, so that's what we're working with. I'm gonna go in with the Kalia Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner just to wet my hair a little bit and make it easier to detangle. Also, when my hair gets like this, I do shed quite a bit. So if you also experience um, a lot of shedding on your hair wash day or when you're oiling your hair, it's totally normal. I've talked about this before multiple times as well, but unless you're experiencing like a lot of irritation from whatever product you're using, like don't worry about excess shedding during hair wash days. One of my biggest tips for hair growth and healthy hair is to stimulate your scalp. So while I'm doing this, I really like to give myself just a good scalp brush where I won't necessarily be running the brush all the way through my hair, but I'll just be brushing my scalp back. This really helps to stimulate my scalp, like I said, um, trigger blood flow, and it just feels really good, especially if your hair has been kind of parted in one way for a couple of days. Brushing it all back into the same direction just feels really nice. I've been talking about scalp treatments a lot lately as well, but I really think that this was the main thing that helped me to grow my hair over this last year. Obviously, other than just kind of letting it do its thing and keeping it healthy, scalp treatments are great for stimulating hair growth, keeping your scalp nice and healthy, preventing dandruff, preventing inflammation. Like there are so many great benefits to scalp treatments. Today, like I said, I'm using the Berber Growing Season Hair Oil. The main ingredient in this is the burdock oil, which is great for preventing dandruff, preventing inflammation. Obviously, it helps to stimulate hair growth. And then for the ends and length of your hair, it's great for preventing breakage and just keeping your hair nourished and really shiny. I really like that this scalp treatment also has vitamin C in it, which is a really powerful antioxidant that helps to protect your scalp from free radicals. This can often lead to things like hair loss or premature graying. So protecting your scalp from free radicals with a hair treatment is really nice. So I just like to take this and apply it directly to my roots. This oil is really lightweight, so I don't have to worry about being like too generous or anything with it. And then I just go ahead and give myself a nice little scalp massage. I think being mindful of the ingredients that you're using in your hair care really contributes to the health of your hair and your scalp. I love that this oil has really clean ingredients and a really simple ingredients list. This also makes me feel better about washing it out, obviously, and what's going down my drain. And just overall, I find that using like better ingredients on my hair and scalp makes my hair look and feel healthier. It also helps me to eliminate any issues with my scalp. I'm also going to apply this to my ends and length as an oil treatment for today. I'm sitting on a yoga pillow and my foot just completely fell asleep. This oil is also a really good um, Mother's Day gift. I know it's coming up and if you haven't uh, decided what you want to get your mom for Mother's Day yet, a hair oil is always a really nice way to go. Personally, like my mom loves when I oil her hair for her. She always asks me to do it when I go visit her. It's just such a nice way for us to hang out. We like to watch Family Feud while I like oil her hair and braid it for her. And it's just such a nice way to bond and like take care of your mom, pamper her, even if you're getting it for like a mother figure or just someone that is like important to you in your life during Mother's Day. I will have a link to this oil down below in the description and I also have a discount code so you can use my code to get some money off. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave this in now for about an hour and I'll check back with you guys with my after shower hair care.
I let my hair dry in this little hair towel for about 25 minutes, had a snack, and watched a Mystery Nightmare video. I love this video so much. Um, I just like love listening to scary stories and stuff. I'm going to now put in some leave-in products just to add some volume to my hair and then obviously help to lock in moisture from the shower. First, I'm going to gently detangle my hair with the same brushes I used before. I normally don't brush my hair after the shower, but because I'm going to blow dry it today, I need it to be um, nice and smooth. So first I'm going to go in with this Innersense I Create Volume Volumizing Lotion. I really like the Innersense um, volumizing products. I've been using them for a few months now. I think I talked about them on my channel like back in January or February. Um, but I still use it especially if I'm going to be blow drying my hair. And I find that they just give me a lot of volume obviously. Um, they don't weigh my hair down or make it feel like sticky. And they don't really smell like much either. So again like I was saying earlier I really like just like the basic ingredients but i just put like a dime size amount of that all over my roots especially and my length and ends and then i'm going in with the inner sense i create lift volumizing foam i'm almost out of this i really really like the volumizing foam and i just use a few pumps normally i only need two but because it's like right at the end um i need a few more And then I'm going in again with the Berber Growing Season Oil. I'm just going to put a few drops in like the length and ends of my hair. Not only is this really going to help to like boost shine and reduce frizz, it's also going to help to protect my hair from getting dried out from the blow dryer. And again, this oil is like so lightweight that you can be a little bit more generous, especially on damp hair and like not end up being a greasy mess. As for the blow dryer, I'm still using the Life in Tech um, Swift hair dryer. I've been using this again for a few months now since around Christmas time and I absolutely love this hair dryer. It just cuts drying time so short for me and it's really lightweight so if you're a noob at blow drying like I am, it makes your life a lot easier when you're trying to learn. I'm just going to give myself like a rough blow dry just to get it like mostly dry and then I'm going to go in with this um, round brush at the end just to smooth everything out and give it some shape. I recently just got this at Walmart. It's Conair and I think it was like 12 bucks or something so yeah, I've never tried it, but we'll kind of just see how it goes. I'm going to use it on the highest speed, but on the medium heat setting. Okay, so it's still pretty damp. I just wanted my roots to be mostly dry. I'm pretty new to blow drying my hair. You guys know that like the, the entire time basically that I had really long hair, I did not use a blow dryer. Mainly just because I didn't want to use any heat on my hair and also it just would take forever. So... I have like very little to no experience with a round brush. So definitely don't take this as a tutorial, but I'm just showing you guys what I do. I'm going to use this little nozzle attachment to keep the airflow as smooth as possible. And I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry my hair and see what happens. I had to go in front of my big mirror because I couldn't see anything in this little viewfinder, but I did the exact same motion throughout my whole head, including my bangs. I just blow dry them back this way. But I'm just going to put a couple more drops of the Berber oil in my length and ends now just to seal everything in, really eliminate any frizz that I created with the blow dryer, um, and then just boost a ton of shine, of course. Who doesn't want that? My main goal with blow drying it today was just to have it like be more on the straight side. I wasn't trying to like give myself one of those 90s bloats or anything like that. I just wanted it to be a little bit more straight for this week. Um, I don't own a straightener so if I want my hair to be straight I have to do it with the blow dryer which is totally fine. Yeah this is what it looks like. You can see that it does have a lot more volume than normal which is great. Um, and yeah, the brush was actually really easy to use. I didn't get like tangled up in it or anything, which is nice because that's usually my problem, but I'll show you guys what this looks like from the back. So 
So this is the final result. I'm really happy with it. Um, I'm hoping that it'll still look cute tomorrow when I go to work. But thank you so much to Berber for sponsoring today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and kind of found it fun to watch. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this of like a vloggy wash day type. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.